Well, it's Wednesday morning about 10.15. I'm headed to the skin doctor for my six-month checkup. And then I got to come home and put my sharpening gear in the truck, and I got to go to a lady's house and sharpen a bunch of knives at her house in her driveway with her neighbor's knives, maybe two neighbors. I won't really know till I get there. If the weather holds, it's been raining all night. It looks a little uh, complicated right now. We'll see how it goes. I don't have to be there till one, so we have several hours to work with. I'll get back to you. Says I got 0.8 miles to go to turn to get to this neighborhood. Well, starting this week, I have posted some knife videos on my main Grave Digger channel. I haven't posted them on my uh, Max the Knife channel. In half a mile, turn left onto Little Neck Road. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do away with that. I don't guess you can do away with it, but I'm not going to post any more videos on the Knife channel. It's, uh, it's not hard to do, but I did it once before, if you remember, I stopped posting on there, so I'm going to stop again and just post them all on my Grave Digger channel. And uh, those of y'all who uh, don't like the knife, you know, you don't have to watch them, but because I get a lot more hits on the, go on the treasure <laughs> the treasure videos than I do on the knife videos, so I know not many people like them. But anyway, we're just going to do away with that Max the Knife YouTube channel, and it'll all be on this channel. I'll get back to you. Turn left onto Little... Like I said, nice Zilla day. The first lady that, that I came to sharpen has a whole block of Wustos, eight. They all need buffing and polishing. And their neighbor across the street brought me eight steak knives. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight more Hinkles. A whole block, a whole set of single hankles. Then the next lady brought me some hankles and some cutcos. And a Wustoff or two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a cutco. Looks like two cutcos. Two Wustoffs, three hankles, and an ever sharp Chinese baby. She put on the stove and got a flat spot in it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna buff these up first and then we'll get start sharpening it. The lawnmower blade man came by and picked up his lawnmower blades. He brought me a, a Henkel slicer and a Ankle and Tuco and a pair of scissors. Now I got some knives for him to do. When I picked up the bag, there was a little knife inside the bag I didn't see. So that's four knives for the lawnmower man. <laughs> 